from from a free you know he, he made the movement he attacked the ball and then he managed to get there first and then he had a very good chance to to to, to score that quick through pass here spread out onto the wing here for the new entrant tries to cross the ball in but straight to the hands of the goalkeeper ibrahim dadlad picks that one up and instantly releases it but instead, the counter-attack is on on the opposite side and looking for a chance, a minus, and the goalkeeper to the rescue! Brilliant stop there from Danlad Ibrahim. Point blank range in the second half. He has saved Ghana from shedding tears. Ghana is trading uh, dangerously uh, at the end of this game. You know, they, they, they're allowing the Sudan to come on them. I think at this stage, with the, the, they scored a and managed to take the lead and now in the moment they could have to make amends as a chance goalkeeper to the rescue once again it might not be considered for man of the match. so now we have played 10 minutes of time to be added on free kick going direct punched away by ibrahim dadlad he goes out for a corner corner kick attack and in good space but uh, i was uh, hoisted a little too high and a little too far just allowing the goalkeeper Ibrahim Danlet to pick up that ball. Only for Ghana to retrieve. Still chilly conditions out there. So hardly a situation where you'd want to stand on occasion. Well, for the players out on the pitch, they can definitely count on a ruckus crowd. The that man of that part of the field is going to have a certain advantage, you know, going forward. And that can help the team uh, achieve his uh, objectives. Long ball to go to the route one. It's a very dangerous play there, but uh, they managed to get away with it. Ghana to the goalkeeper Ibrahim, sending it on to Koza. But I think he's bringing something that we didn't see in the first game for Ghana. It's someone who's always there around the box and then trying to connect this, this crosses coming from Ajima. Danley gets the.